Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk you through some of the favourites that we have kind of discovered along the way for Rupert around the three month mark. So he is almost four months and I've got quite a selection of stuff here that we have just noticed that we've used over and over again, stuff that we've really, really liked and valued and stuff that he's loved as well while he's been around three months. I think any time before that, they're obviously, they're not really into toys and you're still kind of very much finding your feet. Whereas three months, I think you're a lot more settled and you start getting into a bit more of a groove. And obviously it was about three months where he started having a proper bedtime routine. And um, so yeah, so there's quite an, a lot of stuff here. So I'm just gonna get cracking talking through it. I seem to have a friendly pigeon that just wants to make noise whenever I start to film these days. So I apologize if you can hear him clambering around on the roof. So I'm just gonna talk through in a random order. I've got a list so I don't forget anything. And the first thing on it is the Aveeno Baby Daily Care Baby Gentle Wash. We tried quite a few different baby washes and bubble bath stuff when he was quite small. We've bathed him every day from quite an early age, which I know not a lot of people do. He was maybe about two weeks old when he had his first bath and then since then we've done it every night as part of his nighttime routine. His skin has always been amazing. I've never had any kind of worries about it that I've had to bath him less frequently and he absolutely adores the bath and it just really chills him out before bedtime. And this stuff is incredible. And when I posted about this on Instagram, a lot of you said that you use it for your babies as well and how much you love it. Some of you use it yourselves. It's just a really, really gentle baby wash, which is obviously what you want. It says here on the front that it gently cleanses and leaves dry and delicate baby skin feeling moisturized um, with oatmeal and it's soap free. It smells incredible and it's a scent that kind of lingers, but it's just a really kind of natural, baby smell it's it's divine honestly and we've had no troubles with his skin with this it lasts for ages you need a tiny bit for it to lather up and i wouldn't now use anything else and if i need to use a kind of different cream or a different bath product for him in the future then a vino baby will be the first place that i go next i have a couple of books and i've got both to show you but you don't really need two my thing was that we bought one and then i saw another one that i really liked so we, I first bought him one of these Jelly Cat books and I went for the Sea Tales one and these are, as you can probably hear, crinkly books and they're very brightly, brightly coloured and in the pages they have zebra fish, jellyfish, like different types of fish with different tails and obviously for sensory purposes this is amazing. Um, he is fascinated by these. At the moment his favourite thing to do with them is crunch them with his fingers and chew them because at the moment everything's going in his mouth. He's at that stage but they're just gorgeous books and they're really nice that you can just throw them in the changing bag and take out with you. You can obviously hang them up if you want to. He loves these. We've gotten a lot, a lot of use out of them. And the other one that I love, so I bought the Sea Tales one first and then I saw this one and this is called Rainbow Tales. They do all different kinds of ones, but these two are my favourite, I think. Um, I particularly like the tails on this one because they're sparkly and there's like all different kind of bits to them. This one, the tails, you've got some soft and fluffy ones and in here my favourite thing about this is that it's colours so it's just something a bit different he doesn't have anything like this and it literally just goes through all the different colours and I just I think it's amazing he loves this book so um they're the jelly cat books and it was around this age where he really started getting into those and now I get them out for him every morning to have a play with. The next thing is our mamas and papas seat which I will pop a little clip up here that I'm going to film separately because I didn't want to bring it upstairs because he's in it at the moment um, and it's basically just kind of like a mini high chair. We have loved this, he sits in it in the morning, if there's like 15 minutes where I'll go and feed the dogs, I'll get my breakfast, do the dishwasher or some washing, something like that. And he sits in this chair. I put Pepper on or Hey Doggy or something, not because he sits watching it, but just because I like him to have some kind of like background noise and some nice voices and nice sounds. And I think they're quite pleasant to listen to for a baby. And I will pop him in this, toys out in front of him it does come with a toy tray which he loves using as well but I still think he's a little bit young for that he kind of does interact with it a little bit but he much prefers like those books and something else that I'm going to show you in a minute so I've put like a selection of stuff out for him he's quite happy in it for about 20 minutes half an hour I'll go off and do my jobs and then I'll bring my breakfast back with me and I sit next to him while he's in it and kind of chat with him and play with him and stuff while I'm eating my breakfast so it's just been a really nice thing and I think it's something that we'll use when we do start to wean him before we get him in the proper high chair we'll pop him on like the kitchen top in it and um feed him in that so it's a really nice thing to have next i have another jelly cat item and this is nelly 
So we've obviously called her Nelly and it's his comforter. Now, a lot of people say that from about six months they should have a comforter, but he has absolutely loved this from being about three months. So we use it for nap time. So when he's ready for a nap, we get this ready, we get a dummy and we get a sleeping bag. And as soon as he sees the dummy and he holds Nelly, he knows it's time for sleep. We don't, he doesn't have it any other time um, at the moment. I actually bought this as a present for one of my friends and she said that her baby absolutely loved it. So that's why I bought it for Rupert. Um, and he loves her. He likes to chew her trunk um, and he's just constantly holding her and do like fidgeting with her and stuff like that. And I really do think it helps him getting off to sleep. They do it in a fox and there's a duck, I think, and maybe a bear. They're gorgeous. I really recommend these as a first comforter. So a little bit of clothing. This has been something that we have had in every single age group for him. He is already in nine to 12 clothing. So this is a nine to 12 cardigan, but he's had this from being a newborn in the different age groups. And it's a cardigan from Next. Personally, I prefer this color. He does have the khaki one as well. I think at the moment they do it in a navy, the charcoal and a mustard. And it's got the little pixie hood, which is obviously very, very cute. So it's thin enough that he can wear it in the car seat without it be, being dangerous, without it being too thick. It's a nice light layer that you can kind of just add a couple of blankets and a hat if you're going outside, if we're going into town or anything like that. It's just been a really good thing to have. The next couple of things are his sleeping bags. So it was around this age where we started popping him in a sleeping bag before any nap or kind of sleep time, unless he was falling asleep in the car or on us downstairs having a bit of a cuddle. Um, so the first one that I want to talk about is from John Lewis. And whenever I've posted about this, it's gone it's been very popular. So it's off-white and it's got silver embroidered stars in it and it's so so soft. It looks a little bit washed out on the camera because of how bright it is on its own. This one zips around the side all the way around to the bottom to make nappy changing easy. Obviously you pop the arms in here and then do the poppers up at the top. It's just so soft. He's had the smaller version of this and we loved it. And I've just bought, bought him the bigger version because it's been a really, really nice thing. And it's something that I think I would use for other babies in the future because it's kind of long lasting. This kind of print doesn't really go out of fashion. But my favorite thing about it is how soft it is. Um, I have another one here to show you. Now this one isn't quite as soft. I would say it's a little bit, it feels a little bit thinner. They're both warm togs, but this one doesn't feel as quilted. Um, this is, I'll just zip it up so that it makes it a bit easier. This is one by the Snuzz Company. So this is a Snuzz pouch. The thing I like about this one a little bit more is that it has the front zip on it. If you can see it, it just goes around here, which opens up like that. So you don't actually have to take him kind of all the way out of it and zip him all the way out to change his nappy, which we have to do with the John Lewis one. This makes for very easy access. Um, they do it in lots of different prints. He had the cloud one when he was newborn, but we never actually used it because we never used, we didn't use it until he was about two and a half, three months old. When he sees this and he gets tucked up into it, he knows that it's sleep time and they've just worked really, really well. And obviously with a sleeping bag, you don't have to worry that they're warm enough because there is a really good website which I'll link down below that kind of advises you on what your baby should be sleeping in depending on the temperature of the room and what tog of sleeping bag they should be having and we don't have to worry about him pulling a blanket over his face, we don't have to worry about him kicking it off and getting cold in the night. We know that once he's in this he's snug, he's warm enough and um, they're just, they've just they been really really good to have and I think it's something we'll continue to use as he grows. Another little kind of toy slash utensil could you call it is the matchstick monkey now he got bought this as a present for one of my friends who again her baby really really loved this and he has been obsessed with this the last couple of weeks i do think there is something going on in his gums and um, there's no teeth actually showing through yet this seems to bring him a lot of comfort and he loves obviously putting stuff in his mouth but this thing it's really nice because his arms and all the parts of him are quite dinky that it's easy for him to hold on to whereas he also has giraffe um, the Sophie giraffe and I just think at the moment she's a little bit big for him to hold on to whereas this is kind of the perfect size and he just loves it and the head at the back I don't know if you'll be able to tell it's kind of a little bit rigid like a toothbrush would be to get them used to kind of having that texture in the mouth and um, I just think it's a really great invention and it's kind of up there on my top things to buy for a baby because Rupert's really liked it. A couple more things that I don't have to show you but I'll pop clips in where I filmed them. The first thing would be the Milton sterilizer. So this is a cold water sterilizer. In the past we have used the Tommy Tippy electric one and um, that you kind of pop all the bottles in, you add 
the amount of water it tells you to and then switch it on every time you want to sterilise bottles. It was just getting a bit of a faff because we use the man bottles which all kind of come apart and you have to screw them all together before you make the milk. It was getting a bit tricky to um, have the right measurement of water that needed to go in the Tommy Tippy steriliser because the Tommy Tippy bottles show you how much you should be popping in but we don't use those bottles and the lime scale was just building up quite a lot every time I wanted to sterilise bottles I was having to pop this water in and switch it on it kept kind of clicking off before the time it was meant to be finished by some of the cycles seemed really really quick and I just wasn't happy with how reliable it was. So we have got rid of that and we've introduced the cold water steriliser, which I'm absolutely in love with. I never thought I'd hear myself say that, but the actual tub was about £13 on Amazon. And then you buy the little sterilising tablets. There is a liquid as well, but we use the tablets. And every night we switch over the water because it's sterile for 24 hours once you pop a tablet in the water. So we switch up the water, pop a new tablet in and put the new bottles in ready for the morning. My favourite thing about it is is that you can just keep adding bottles during the day so as I take one out I'll pop another one in so I know that I've got bottles sterilised for when I need them. They sit in there during the day it's just so so easy and I know that the man bottleized the man bottle sterilised himself in the microwave but I don't want to be having to fix them all up and sterilise in a bottle just before I use it. This cold water steriliser has been a really, really good thing for us and you can pop anything in there. So Matchstick Monkey goes in there, his dummy, dummies go in there and it just works really, really well. The only thing I will say is that the first few times you use it, just be prepared. It dried out my hands ridiculously and had kind of scarring and it made my hands really, really sore and I was using hand creams and stuff like that for a while. Now I use tongs to get the stuff out and I don't actually put my hand in the water. That's the only kind of negative I would say but it's been a really good thing for us. And the last thing that I want to talk about is his pram toy. So we bought something from, it was on Amazon because I think it was old season mamas and papas, but they have a new version of it now. I think it's got rocket ships on it. I will link it down below. It's been a really, really good thing for us. You'll have seen it, I'll pop a clip up of it or a picture, you'll have seen pictures of it if you follow me on Instagram or you've watched any of our vlogs. And it basically just clips onto the side of the car seat. I called it a pram toy, but we use it on the car seat and it makes different noises, it crunches, it crinkles. Visually, I think it's something that he likes to look at. There's a little mirror on it, um, there's like a little rattle, he loves it. And it's been really lovely when we pop him in the car, he's just really settled when, as soon as we put that over and he knows that they're there, you can just hear him in the back and he just kind of hits his hands on them and he's playing with them. So it's really, really nice. Um, and that is it, they're my kind of top favorite things I would say for a three month old. I am going to be doing a video where I talk about more kind of everyday things like bottles and things like that but these are something obviously is bottle the bottles aren't really a favourite they're more of a necessity although we do really love the man bottles um, but I just wanted to put this little list together of stuff that I've really enjoyed using for him um, while he's been around the age that he is so I hope you've enjoyed that and um, I hope you've kind of picked up a little few tips or things there that you've not seen before please leave me a comment if you want to and I will see you all very very soon thank you for watching